Good morning. Thanks for joining us for Local 3 News. I'm Rebecca Bartlemay, and joining me this morning is Corey Tusseva from UP Home Health and Hospice. Yes. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so we've been talking about the Women's Health mm -hmm. Expo that you have coming up, and so for people who may have missed it last hour, can you just tell us a little bit about what that will be like? Yeah, it's a day-long um, event that's going to be happening on March 7th, and it's going to focus on a whole host of issues that women might be interested in. Um, health in particular, so mental health, preventative health, educational presentations, screenings, health screenings, uh, and health-related vendors. Awesome. And so there is still time for people to register, yeah. and you also need sponsorships, correct? We do. Uh, we would not be able to do this without the help of the Upper Peninsula Health Plan, who joined us in, in presenting this, uh, this great opportunity for our community. So uh, we also have a number of different sponsorship levels, and many people who have joined with us already. But this is an event that, we, that, that will cost some money. So anybody who's interested in participating, there are still sponsorship levels available. If you are a women-owned business, if you focus on anything along those lines and you're interested in just being a vendor, we still have some of those opportunities available too. So we just encourage you to go to uphomehealth.org and click on the link that says Women's Health Expo and find out more. Okay, and can people, is that where also people can register to attend? Yeah. Registration's open. So when you when you go to that site, what we'll do is we'll you know ask for your name and your email and then as soon as you sign up, we're not gonna spam you, we're just gonna let you know on what's going on with the day. That's also where you'll have the opportunity to choose your lunch, so we will be providing a box lunch for people who register, ham, turkey, and vegetarian options. And then that's where we also have the full list of the speakers, what they're talking on. We'll have the sponsors, we'll have the vendors, so that people are prepared and they know what to expect before they arrive on that day. All right, and now did you say off camera that um, about you'll cap it off around 500? Yeah, so this is our first year doing it, uh, and, and we want to do it well. We want to have as many people there as possible, but we also want to just be prepared for it. So we are going to cap it at 500. Um, you know, when this used to be held back in the day, there would be anywhere from 600 people in attendance. So just to manage our expectations and the expectations of the participants, we will limit it at 500 and we'll let people know if we're getting close to hitting that. All right. And lastly, you know, maybe somebody's like, oh, I'm not sure if I want to check this out. What, yeah. what would you say to kind of encourage them to come see this? It's going to be great. You know, it's you don't have to come for the whole day. We're not going to take attendance after lunch hour. We're not going to do any of those things. Uh, so you can come for the educational presentations if you have concerns about your health, um, or you can just come to check it out and, and get to see some of the great organizations and the uh, businesses in our community. For more information, you can check out our website, upmatters.com, and tune to Local 3 News tonight at 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock Central for more local news, weather, and sports.